Hi, and welcome to my channel. So, today I'm opening for you Second Star Books. I just got this in the mail not even an hour ago. It must have arrived when I was out visiting my grandparents, so I am so excited to be able to open this for you. This is one of my favorite book boxes of the month. What is really, really cool about Second Star Books is for every box that is purchased, they donate a book. And it could be, I'm not sure if it's like to schools or to local libraries, but however, it goes to children in need of books. And the idea is to promote literacy. So one box equals one book. And that is totally something that I can get behind. As an English teacher, I fully support that. I love that. I think that is wonderful. And I'm so excited to have this box. I've been waiting for it. So I thought I would hop right on and share this with you. So when you open it up, you have tissue paper and it has a little sticker that says, thank you. Ooh, I love things that come in boxes and book boxes. And there's something here that's wrapped. And... I'm so excited. Ooh, and that's our wooden bookmark. Okay, so let's take a minute. Hold on, let me put this down. Okay, so this is our spoiler card. This has all the information about the box that's on here, and it says SSB, so Second Star Books. Alistair and Abigail, a zombie love story now playing August 2018. And so the theme of the month is a night at the movies. And every book box, you are getting a wood bookmark, which I think is so cool. They're always really pretty. And this one says, The Dead Rise on Sunday. So you can see the zombies in the background. You can see the church. You have like the cool, like pretty watercolor sky. But yeah. So there's, there's like all these things about zombies on the back. And I'm assuming that this connects right to the book. And I'm assuming the book has to do with zombies. Maybe, maybe, maybe just a hunch. Okay, so the other thing, in addition to the wooden bookmark that you get every month, is you always get a candle. And I'm assuming that's what's in here because it says the curdling. Oh my god, it's root beer. <laughs> you can smell it from outside the box. Oh my god, I love root beer. Okay, it says enjoy your movie with a root beer. Bookish candles for bookish people. Oh my god. Holy, this thing is huge. My gosh, how cool is this? You can see it has like a little skull there and I'm not sure what that is on the outside of it. And it says scream all night and it, it has the wooden wick on it. Oh my god, it smells just like a root beer. Oh my god. <laughs> This smells so good. Oh my god. I just want to sit here and sniff this. I want to drink this. This is how good this smells. It says on the back, I don't know about you, but I love to enjoy a cold glass of root beer during a movie, which is why we created the Curdling, a root beer scented candle we hand poured into Moldovia Studios pint glass. When your candle is gone, give the glass a thorough wash and you can use it for years to come. Tip, pop it in the freezer for a few minutes and the wax should come right out. Then, then a good scrub with soap and water is all you need. Oh, that's so cool. I didn't know about that. If you put it in the freezer for a few minutes, it will help get the candle out. Can you do that with all candles? Is that just soy based candles? Let me know if you know. This is really cool. I There's still multiple items in here. So let's check this out. So you have something that's wrapped and that's definitely intriguing. So let's open this up and it looks like it's a skull. It is a skull. Oh my gosh. Bar conic glassware. So you can see it's a skull. Okay, this is gonna be cool for Halloween decorations um, and maybe like bookstagram pictures. I can already think of it really like a few books that this would go really well with my bookstagram pictures. Like I just posted one with Stephen King. This would have totally rocked for that. So let's see what this is coming from. This says, rounding out your movie binging care package, might I suggest some classic horror flicks from Hammer films. We've included a crystal skull snack bowl. This is really cool. So you're supposed to be able to put your snacks in it. I think it's a little small for snacks. However, I think this will be super cool at like um, Halloween time if you put like some candy corn in it or whatever. This is really neat. So we have a little skull thing. So we have a theme going on. We have a skull on our cup. We have a skull here. We have zombies. I'm really interested to see what this book is. Okay. So there's something... So we have our two books, but I don't want to open those yet. I want to save those for last. And we have 
Swedish fish. So the Swedish fish must be in here so that it can go directly in the skull. That's funny. And then the last thing other than the books that I'm seeing here is this. And I don't know what it is. This is a movie themed mug rug. Bigger than a coaster and smaller than a placemat. It's the perfect size for your favorite drink and a small snack. Don't worry about spills, it's machine washable. So I guess you put this like on your end table so that you can have like a small pile of snacks and then your drink right next to it and you don't have to worry about like getting crumbs everywhere or, or damaging it. That's a really interesting idea, neat. It smells like root beer. <laughs> so each month you get two books. You get like your main book and then you get like a companion book. So like in the month of May, we got Jane Eyre and then we got Brightly Burning and Brightly Burning is like a sci-fi spinoff of Jane Eyre. So each month the books have had some sort of connection. So the first book that I'm pulling out is The Great American Whatever by Tim Federley. All right, so I just read the inside cover and it sounds like this book is about a boy named Quinn who is 16 years old and he used to be a smart aleck who used to only worry about writing convincing dialogue for the movies he made with his sister. And it says that was before he stopped going to school School. his mother stopped sleeping on the sofa and now they're like in hibernation it sounds like they got into a car accident that changed everything and now his friend is trying to drag him back out of the house but it does sound interesting and then the other book that we're getting this month is scream all night by Derek Millman on the inside of this we have a handwritten note from the author okay so this sounds like it is about a boy named Dario who said that he wasn't going back to Moldovia studio that is the castle that served as the set for his father's movies it says cult classic B horror movies and his father was the director and for some reason his father was arrested so he doesn't really want to go back but his brother convinces him to go back and now there are like the real and imagined monsters are coming to get him and he has to like save the studio so it says that I'm super excited to share this book with you it's a bit of a weird one but when you have a book as unique as screw Scream All Night by Derek Millman. You've got to create a box that matches its incredible quirkiness. This book is a gem and I hope you love it. And we've paired it with The Great American Whatever by Tim Fadiler, which is also amazing. Our indie month author this month is Joanne McGregor, who is offering a download of her book Hushed, a contemporary adaptation of The Little Mermaid, set on a film set. How fun is that? Your download code is on this card. So not only you're getting both of these books, but you're also getting a free ebook download. Let me know in the comments below if you receive Second Star Books, if this is a monthly book box that you get, or if you decide to sign up for it. I would love to know that too. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and hit subscribe. Subscribe, and I'll be back soon with more videos. And as always, keep reading!